Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily change the field of view or FOV in your Unreal Engine projects. Now you could do this for a range of reasons, of course, maybe the easiest way to explain it and showcase it would be to imagine a first person shooter where you have an option of zooming in and doing it through that process that we already know from third person shooters or first person shooters which is basically not actually activating the zoom on the optical device of your gun but basically having the whole scene come closer to you, let's call it like that. So that's a change in the field of view and you can undertake it in Unreal Engine pretty quickly. Now I'm going to show you how. This is of course my first person template, let's check it out. Here it is, we have our field of view, you can see it as it is. Now let's imagine if I want to create a field of view that is more zoom in, so I can see things better that are further away. To do that, I'm going to open up my first person character, I have it opened here, but I could also found, find it here and then select edit first person character. In both cases, I will get this and in my we have of course the viewport, construction script and event graph. In my event graph I'm going to actually pull out the first person camera. So there's the first person camera node and from here on out I'm going to pull out another node or search for another node which is going to be set field of you. Here it is. And with this, we have field of view, which is basically around zero. And we have our first person camera. We're going to add a activate node. So we're going to see how this changes, the field of view changes when I do something in the game. I'm going to connect it to a keyboard event. And let's check out or choose one. So when I press the key one, something will change in my field of view. And now let's change the field of view float from zero to let's say 100 and see what happens when we do that. I'm going to compile and I'm going to go for play. Now I have my field of view, but when I press one, it gets a bit different. I zoom out. Now we're going to add, let's check it out once again in the game. So here we are. This is my player character and I plus one. I get the opposite. I get kind of a sense of the camera pulling away from the character. So let's try and add negative 100. See what happens. Save. I'm back in the game and I press one, nothing good happens actually, so I shouldn't go into negative, but let's keep it at 100 and let's try to experiment with another node, which is going to be, I'm going to break this connection by clicking on alt and I'm going to add a flip flop node. A flip-flop node, if you don't know, is basically a node that allows you to change whenever you do a command, whatever that command might be, it alternates between A and B. So when I press 1, it's going to go to A, when I press B, 1 again, it's going to go to B, A, B, and basically it's going to flip-flop. And now I'm going to copy this field of view, and I'm going to connect it to both of these and I can now experiment with different settings. Now I can set the other for let's say a thousand. I'm going to compile, save and let's see what happens now. I have my first entry to the level, everything the same. I go for one and everything gets really funky and I go for one once again it's the previous option. <laughs> it's flipping for whatever reason it's doing that. And it's back here 
as well. So I'm going to go a little less crazy and say it's set at 200. So I'm going to compile and save again. And let's see it now. One. And it's really crazy. Two. <laughs> it's, a, it's a normal zoom. Again, crazy, insane. And back here. So the values obviously should be a lot smaller. Let's go for 110 and save and try it out one and we have a lot more of the same so it's better to keep clearly the values not that drastically different I'm going to do let's say 130 all of this is co of course connected to the camera lens in some way which I'm not quite sure about but the process as is and you can see it so for example if I begin my game like this I could go for over shoulder zoom like this and this is distorting the field of view which I right now I'm getting a bit of that fisheye lens effect but then I'm returning to this where I would be a lot more accurate for example and that way you can quickly and easily change the field of view like you saw you shouldn't go in four digit values because it really gets insane so the values should be a lot smaller and they should be in these ranges of course you can experiment with your own setup for the camera i'm guessing that the camera setting is uh, the thing that mainly influences how everything is presented with the changes in the field of view but basically this is the key element you get your first person camera or whatever camera you're using in your game and then you add a set field of view node from it which then changes moves modifies or anyway adapts the field of view of your camera of course like you saw in my video there will be a need to experiment a bit further with that but you will probably get to a point where you can have a setup that is pretty similar or pretty close to the thing that you want to get once you have it you can then use it freely in your project and set it up keep it in the way you want it to be in the game itself so there you have it that's the field of view beginner tutorial it's not exactly something that you can use one-on-one -on -one in your project it will ex demand some experimenting but that's the basic setup hopefully you found this video useful hopefully it at least provided you with an introduction to the field of view editing changes and possibilities in unreal engine if you did please consider subscribing to my channel being here for my newest or latest or new videos uh, there is also a bunch of other ways how you can support me there is my patreon page where you can send me a buck or two per month or i don't know 12 bucks per month make me rich here people and support me through that process i also sell books on amazon you can send me donations through paypal you can send me cryptocurrency you can send me a whole bunch of things no actually that's all that you can send me but there is a bunch of things that you can do to support my channel if you found this video useful. But most importantly and the easiest thing you can do is to simply subscribe and leave a like. Of course, if you have any questions or dilemmas, please share them with me. I would love to learn about Unreal Engine with you as well. That's all for my video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having the patience and having the free time and the willingness to be right here until the very end. Have a great day, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine Levels projects and I'll see you in precisely seven days from now. Until then, bye bye.